Hey guys, how's it going? Go see Richard today. I'm going to be showing you how to switch out your electrical plugs. So, the first thing you're going to want to do if you have the plate on like this is you can always take that off, but first go around it with a knife. After you do so, um, the reason why I say that is because if you don't and you're not planning on painting, you're going to pull the paint, which is, of course, really sucky. So, uh, make sure that you, of course, cut around the plate first and then pull it off so it doesn't pull off any paint. Make sure you do the same with the receptacle. Just go around the edges of the metal. Now, next thing you want to do before you start pulling that away from the wall is we want to, of course, check to make sure there's no power in there. So if you have a power probe, it makes it really easy. They're like 20 bucks at Home Depot. Um, stick it in, as you can see, and just make sure that there's no power, which there isn't. If there is power or also, if the plug just wasn't working before, you're going to want to actually check the wires. If you don't have any power here and the breaker is live, it means that you have bigger issues. But if uh, you do this, then you know it's not lot, or then you know there's no power going to it and you've hit the right breaker. If this starts going red and beeping at you, it means that you have power there and you need to find the right breaker. All right? So once you uh, flick your breaker, you're ready to go. Um, next thing you want to do is take a look. A lot of older houses had aluminum wiring, like this one does. And then, of course, with the newer plugs, they're actually designed for copper. So you want to do a copper wire conversion, which I can show you here in a second. The first thing you're going to want to do, though, if you have already copper wiring, is if you do have only one pair of wires, then you're going to tie in these two bottom terminals all the way in. All right? And the reason why is you won't need this one or this one. So you just tie them all the way in, the screw all the way in. And then you will copy, just put the plug up right next to it. And you'll see that the white wire goes to this side and the black wire goes to this side. And if you're still confused, it will actually say hot wire and white wire. And all you're going to do is put the white wire where the white wire goes, the black wire on the hot wire. And then, of course, make sure you have your ground. And that's for if you have copper. If it's poking in the back, you can always do the poking method. I actually prefer the screw down method. It's easier for maintenance or if you want to switch them out again and you don't have to continuously keep cutting these if a receptacle goes bad or something. I don't know. Anyways, so if you have aluminum wiring and you have these switches, I'll show you what to do. Also, a good thing to do is make sure that it's usually going to be the same, but it's always really good to check. Make sure that both the switches are 15 amp and... Um, well, it all depends. Read your switch and make sure you match them because the last thing you want to do is have it in the wrong, right? So stay tuned for the next section. Hey guys, how's it going? So as you can see, I um, thought I'd show you with this first one. Uh, that's how it's going to look after we're done. But we have our aluminum here and then we have our copper here. Um, how you're going to get this, of course, is you can buy some Romex from Home Depot. Uh, 5 meters, 10 meters, whatever you want. Uh, but yeah, this is our copper strand. This is our aluminum strand. And we're going to go like this. And we're just going to get pre-started like that. And then what I usually do is I just grab my linesman pliers. And I just twist them. And you're going to get the, I think it's a minimum of 3 to code. can't remember 100%. But I usually do it until it's all the way up. And then I squish the tip. So it's like that. You can see now they're really good. They're nice and tight together. Then we take our purple wing nut or marette and then you put it, poke it through the plastic so it's all in that grease. And then squeeze it on there. Make sure there's no copper showing at all because you don't want the shorting. I think it's seven turns with the marette is to code, but I don't know 100%. Code changes everywhere. But I usually go until it's tight and then a couple twists around the wire because it's easier to hide that way. And then we tuck it in. And then with the copper lead that for your ground, I just go right into the box. Tie it off of the metal screw in the box, stick it out. Now you have your wire conversion. Now you're just gonna take your plug like I told you to, read the back. White goes to white, black goes to black, uh, or black goes to hot. And then tie in the two bottom screw terminals if you're not using those. And then put on your ground onto the green screw. And that's it. Just put it back together after that. And then if you want to, Klein also has this, which is a plug checker. And as you can see, if it's correct, 
these two yellow lights will go after you flick the breaker on plug this in and that's a good way to check if not you can always check with the usb charger which is what some people do but be very careful with doing that all right so i hope this video helped you out um of course press the subscribe button if you want to see some more videos about this i've got another one that deals with light switches and then of course press the like button if it helped you out anyways thanks again for watching and have a great day one last quick note for you if you're doing this um after the copper is in is make sure that the loop goes like this you don't want the uh copper hanging out over the edge so if you look you just want that tip to be tucked in against the plastic so when you tie this in it gets super tight okay